We're working on the two challenges for list functions and methods uh, in list copying. The first challenge is copying a list. What would be the incorrect way to copy a list named my list? Um, using the dot copy method, we've seen this several times in our solution videos up until this point. So that should be just fine. Um, making a new copy of the list here, um, we're making uh, list using the list function and making a list of uh, my list and then we're, we have an indexing approach this this returns a new list this list function also returns a new list um, the dot copy method also returns a new list and then the last one we have is just a straight assignment operator now when the first three uh, methods functions or index slicing actually return new lists um, this actually doesn't make a new copy. Rather, what it does is it just puts another pointer to the same object. So um, my new list in each of these cases actually refers to a brand new list that's held in a separate physical memory location where this straight assignment operator does not do the same thing. It actually um, my new list is just a new variable that actually points to the physical memory location of my list. And um, we're looking for an actual copy, an actual new object, so we can say that this is not going to be the correct way. Moving on to the last challenge, we want to see what would be the result of print a new list after running the following code. Um, we're given an original list, and then we make a copy using index slicing here and then once we've done that we have um, popped the from the original list we pop the nine off this returns a nine but we're not doing anything or assigning it anywhere and then we're printing our new list now um, because we use this index slicing we created a new list um, that's being stored in the variable new list um, so when we run this pop on the original list, we would actually, um, when we print that new list, we're actually going to get the complete contents um, because we're referring to the copy. If, and I'll copy and paste this code over here into a REPL that I have running, um, as we could imagine, as we just mentioned, we can see here we have this list. Um, if I did not use this index slicing, like I said in the first challenge, um, new list is now just a, a variable that points to the physical memory location of original list. So when I do this, I should see that nine removed from the list and I can see that is the case. So when we're making a copy of a list, it's very important that you use one of these three methods, the dot copy, um, call the list function or use index slicing. Otherwise, you're just going to have two variables which are pointing to the same object in physical memory.